Good morning, my friends. Today is December 29th. It's the fifth day in the octave in these eight days of Christmas. It's also the optional memorial of St. Thomas Becket. I'll talk more about his story because it connects so well with the readings today. Um, in the first reading today, we hear how we're called to keep God's commandments. This is St. John. He says, whoever keeps his word, keeps God's commandments, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Uh, and we ought to, walk, ought to walk just as Jesus did. My dad always taught us that integrity means uh, doing the right thing, whether somebody's watching or not. Um, and so do we live in the light of Christ? One of my friends who's a permanent deacon shared this story with me. He said this Sunday morning, he was preaching about integrity and, uh, and then he was getting on uh, the, the bus in downtown Chicago. And at the time, the, the fare was only 90 cents. So he gave the bus driver a dollar and he got two coins back in change. He just assumed it was two nickels and he went back and sat down. And before he put the money in his pocket, he looked at it and it was two dimes. And so the bus driver had given him 10 cents too much. And so as he sat there, he had this internal dialogue, you know, it's only 10 cents, what's the big deal? And then the other uh, side uh, of, his, of his heart said, but the right thing is always the right thing to do. And so he battled back and forth, it's just a dime, what's the right thing to do? And so as he got off the bus, he decided he was going to give the bus driver back the extra dime. And so as he was getting off, he said, you gave me 10 cents too much. And the bus driver said, I know, I heard you preach this morning on integrity, and I just wanted to see what you would do. I thought, wow. <laughs> and uh, this deacon now has a framed, that, a framed dime in his office as a reminder to him of you know, what integrity means to do the right thing, whether or not anyone is watching. We know that God is watching God and God isn't this taskmaster just that just waits for us to, um, to make a mistake. No, he's a God of love, of mercy, of forgiveness. Uh, and he wants us to walk in his ways. He wants us to follow his word, to be missionary disciples who, who live you know, how Christ has taught us to live. St. Thomas, Thomas Becket, uh, uh, he, he died in 1170. So December 29th, this day in 1170. What's interesting about his story is he was Chancellor of England. So King Henry II, so this is long before King Henry VIII, you know, took over the church and it became the Church of England. So this was still the Catholic Church. Uh, Thomas Becket was the Chancellor of England. He was good friends with King Henry II. The stories say that he, they traveled all around. He kind of lived a lavish lifestyle under King Henry II, and they became good friends. And so King Henry II, when the position of Archbishop of Canterbury came open, the king said, I'm going to appoint Thomas Becket my Archbishop, keep him as Chancellor, and because we're friends, I'm going to have all this power both politically and in the church. And so he names Thomas Becket the Archbishop of Canterbury. I think that's how it was done at the time. And so shortly after that, uh, now uh, Archbishop uh, Thomas Becket resigned his position as chancellor and he remained just the Archbishop of Canterbury. And he started to make decisions that the king didn't like. The king wanted him to cut corners and, you know, just kind of go along with me here. And um, Thomas Beckett had a change of heart. He wasn't living this lavish lifestyle anymore. He was trying to follow the ways of Jesus as the archbishop. And of course, the king did not like this new archbishop, this who he thought was his friend, and they started to fight. Eventually, it led to Thomas Becket's brutal murder. Four of the king's knights uh, went to uh, uh, Canterbury, and in the cathedral, they brutally murdered him. It was, if you read the details, it's, it's brutal. But 
Thomas Beckett lived a life of integrity. He was not going to, you know, change the teachings of the church based on what the king wanted. Integrity is doing the right thing, following God's ways, even when you think no one is watching. So let that be our prayer today. Are we following the Lord's commands? Are we doing what is right, um, whether anyone is watching? Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for his example, his leading us the way to life. Thank you for the example of Thomas Beckett and his uh, life of integrity. Help us to, to follow your commandments, to be your missionary disciples, to be examples to all that we meet. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Again, please like, subscribe, and share these videos. God bless.